So in this example, we are going to implement the polar plot of a transfer function uh, in C and using the new plots, we are going to plot the uh, polar plot. So I have written down the code here. I have written down the code here. Uh, right. So and we would verify our polar plots from this very good website tutorialpoint.org. Uh, which is hosted by Shovan Bhav Mixer, right? So first of all, we say enter any transfer function. So numerator coefficient is one. So we have entered one upon s square plus s plus one, and the polar plot of the transfer function uh, should look something like this. So we implement the same using our C code. So if we compile and run it. So the degree of the denominator uh, numerator is uh, zero. The degree of the denominator is 2, the numerator coefficient is 1 and the denominator coefficients are all 1. So what it does, it stores uh, the values of the magnitude of the transfer function and the phase of the transfer function in a file. Right. And now we would plot those values in new plots. So we should get a plot something like this. So first of all we adjust the x and y ranges in new plots. So I put the x range from say minus 2 to 2 and y range from uh, say minus 2 to 1 or anything like that so x range from minus 2 to 2 and y range from minus 2 to 1 now we plot the polar plot which is stored in the file polar.txt if we want to verify we can also verify the polar.txt file and it is like this so this is basically uh, what we have printed is the gain and the phase that is the magnitude and the phase so uh, we have printed basically the x coordinate and the y coordinate so x coordinate would be basically the magnitude times cos theta and y coordinate would be the magnitude times sin theta so this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate right and we have done this for different values of frequency which vary over the curve so if i plot this plot you see it is like this so the shape resembles the actual polar plot and if you want to check the values we can do so say uh, I have to check the value at mm, x is equal to minus 0 0.26 and the value it, it is given me is or the value at x is equal to minus 0 0.2 is minus 0 0.121 so let's check in our polar plot so the value at x is equals to minus 0 0.2 is coming out to be minus 0 0.19 so it is quite close indeed yeah it is 0 0.26 oh this is 0 0.26 so the value exactly at point 2 would be again this is 0. Point, minus 0. 0.26 okay this is minus 0. 0.2 right so the value at x is equal to minus 0. 0.2 is minus 0. 0.11 and what we get from the polar plot here the value at x is equal to minus 0. 0.2 is minus 0. 0.12 so these are very favorable values and these are very close values so let's check for any other points so let's check for say the value at x is equal to 0 so the value at x is equal to 0 is y coordinate is minus 0 0.999 and the x coordinate is of course 0 that is the angle is minus 90 degree so if we mark the point at x equal to 0 in new plots value is minus 0.999 so it matches quite well so that's it for this transfer function we would try to implement it for another transfer function say numerator coefficient is 1 comma 1 and the denominator coefficient is 1 comma 2 comma 3 so the graph theoretical should look something like this just zoom out so it would be something like this 
so the coefficients are 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 comma 3 so we would run our C code here and the degree of the numerator is 1 the degree of the denominator is 2 the numerator coefficients are 1 comma 1 and the degree of the denominator coefficients note that the coefficients in the C code are entered in the reverse order so this would be 3 comma 2 comma 1 and we are ready to plot but first we would try to select the range so x we would keep from minus 1 to plus 1 and y we would keep from minus 1 to 1 so in no plots we set the y range from minus 1 to 1 and the x range from minus 1 to 1 and then we plot okay so this is our polar plot uh, we see that it resembles in shape to this the only portion here that is cut because we have written our code for finite number of omegas that is it in here it goes up to omega equal to 20 radian per second and it is not possible to right for very large values of omega because then the code hangs but the uh, for less values of omega we can compare these two plots right so let's compare these two plots so the value at uh, x is equal to 0 0.4875 is okay we are getting two values at 0 0.4875 uh, first of one of which is 0 0.0014 so let's check at 0.4875 now this is very hard to compare but uh, 0.4815 should be here and it is giving 0 0.014 quite accurate 0 0.0114 0 0.014 yeah that is quite accurate to be honest yeah this is quite accurate so at any other point so the value at 0 0.2855 gives minus 0 0.3726 so when the x coordinate is point 0.2855 the y coordinate is minus 0 0.3726 so 2855 must be somewhere around here Two eight five two. The value is minus point three seven three three. It is quite close to its actual value. So, and by looking at the curve, we can clearly see that these two curves match each other. For example, the value here is point five six. Point five five is minus zero point one four one seven. So, if you check, it should be. Uh, minus 0.15 and the value of the x coordinate is minus the value of the y coordinate is minus 0 0.15 and the value of the x coordinate is 0 0.55 so these two points are basically the same so that's it we have checked this and i have checked this for uh, quite large number of transfer functions and it works quite well